This is for those of you that have grown up with narcissistic or emotionally immature or unavailable parents and you have money and or business issues. Let's talk about spending on ourselves. Now this kind of ties into the financial irresponsibility end of things sometimes but also there's something that I see come up for those of us that were always told we were selfish we wanted for too much right by those parents we struggle to do anything for ourselves we struggle to give ourselves anything at all and in those moments there's this belief that if we do something for ourselves it means we're selfish it means we're bad and if that continues on there can be even times where will prove to ourselves unconsciously that we are bad by having other struggles in our finances It will build. And then we have struggles paying for things or, you know, suddenly something will come up. And again, this is not about like societal issues or systemic issues. This is about like our own parts of things, right? So in those moments, one of the questions that I always ask myself is, who decided that I was selfish? Well, that was my mom, personally. What What is selfish to them? Like, or are they a good judge of being selfish? Because my mom is probably one of the most selfish people you'll ever meet, right? This is somebody that would blame financial situations on me growing up and was more concerned with me becoming rich and famous one day to support them than actually my well-being and happiness. That's That's not it. So the question to ask is like, who told me this? Because we have to separate and understand that even though we're holding the belief, some it came from somewhere and it wasn't us to understand that all we're doing is just upholding it. And that in itself is, yes, it's a problem. It's something we have to work through. But we also need to understand that it's something that was told to us, which means it's also something that we can choose to let go. And I'm not saying like it's super easy to do that. It takes a lot of work, a lot of self-work, a lot of therapy or coaching. Hello, I'm here to help with that. Um, but we need to understand that this was something we adapted to, not something that we inherently believe about ourselves. And then ask yourself, who is this person that's saying this? What are they modeling, right? And then ask yourself the question, is it me being selfish or is it me doing something nice for myself? Is it me being selfish or me prioritizing myself? Because caring for ourselves, doing nice for things for ourselves, we deserve to do that, right? We deserve to put ourselves first a little bit and we can't really help other people when we're not filled up. So maybe that's by you going and getting some flowers for yourself or getting a massage, getting a burger if you're hungry, right? And you really just want one, um, whatever it is, I don't care. Obviously, yes, be financially responsible. Don't spend money that you don't have on things, but like you get to treat yourself every so often. You get to do things for yourself. And if it, even if it's like a self care thing, like just, or just f to make you happy, that's valid just as it is something that is necessary for your mental health and well being, right? So keep that in mind, but ask those questions. And if you want more tips on how to work through this stuff, make sure you're following. And again, I got a whole program on this stuff. So let me know if you want to hear details about that. And I work with people all around the world.